I got a new chair. Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family. We're aiming to hit 10k on this channel and I think we can do it, we'll work together. Thank you. And let's get on with the video. Today we're talking about why crisis teams are failing service users. <laughs> Now, I myself have had some horrific experiences with the home treatment team, also known as crisis team. I'm going to play a brief clip from one of my old videos, which I will link on the iCard up there, and you can watch the whole video. The problem is that they don't sound like they're being challenged. I spent years trying. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Now I've played that short clip for you, Let's talk about some of the reasons why the NHS is failing patients. So when you call a crisis team, you're giving the advice to A, make a cup of tea, have a hot bath, have another cup of tea in case the first one didn't work, go for a walk, or sleep it off. I've never had any advice of crisis teams that has been helpful. The crisis team is there for you to phone if you feel you're going into crisis, hence the name crisis team. Now I picked a few articles up from Google to show that I'm not the only one talking about this. And what I think people forget is everyone's human and the workers, employees, whatever you want to call them, don't give two shits about anyone. They really shouldn't work in mental health. If you're going to work in mental health you should have the capacity to understand when someone's in crisis. Resources for those who are in crisis. Want to help. Just a few things to make these workers seem more human. I think one of the hardest things is when you're struggling with your mental health and you need crisis support. The support you need just isn't there. Now one good thing about living in the UK is we have a, a lot of mental health charities. Personally I use Shout if I need to, I haven't used them in over a year. Crisis teams, honestly I don't know why they exist. But the question is why are they letting down service users? Now I can think of a few things. One, they don't have any compassion for their job. Two, they don't understand why the other person needs support. They don't see what they see as a crisis. They just want to do the job, get some money. There's so many reasons why they are the way they are. And I can't possibly get into all the reasons in this video. But what I do know is they've cost people their lives because they couldn't be bothered to act on a active suicide planner. Maybe they're slowly trying to kill us all off. That makes sense. <laughs> it genuinely saddens me to see people struggling and the crisis team is not helping. That's kind of all I've got for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video on Monday. My new upload schedule is on Monday and Friday. So yeah. Thank you, stay safe, stay sober and stay strong. Peace.